this is amazing. I love these kind of presents. I'm here and I was going to say, I don't know where I am, but I looked it up on my phone. And it turns out that I'm exactly where I planned to be and then forgot the plan. Because I'm traveling from one place to the other, it's hours drive. And, uh, okay, I, I took um, a sideway from the highway because I didn't want to be in a traffic jam. And here I am in exactly the place where I planned to be. Wow, and I didn't look for it. <laughs> so thank you for the surprise and the present, uh, dear Cosmos. But can you please turn on the fan as well, so that the shit can hit it? Because it's already happening in several places and it needs to be more widespread, that shit. <laughs> because if I hear from someone in England that um, there are new laws in the making that can rule your life without you having any say in it, that's the end of humanity. If you have no right to speak up for yourself, which is also happening in a war zone, and which is also happening when there's a hurricane above your head and you're not getting any help for quite some time, then you lose your right to speak up. They, it is gone and you have to manage your life after that on all levels in one go. And that takes a lot of strength. It's really, really an endeavor. Because not only, mainly on the practical level, you have to work to make sure that you're safe, that you get some food, warmth, and the right company. But also you have to work on all your senses, stay centered, feel safe, and feel protected. So it's being alert on all levels at the same time. And when the chaos is complete, then it's really for those who have the talent to manage on a certain area, to manage at that area. And it can be political management, it can be economical, traffic, food, whatever, or the spiritual. But go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. May the shit hit the fan everywhere. We're ready. Go for it. We do.